Fallout 4 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Steven Plays Fallout 4. On the last episode, we spent much of our time in this area. We were, uh, looking through this blood clinic. And then, I guess, I guess we probably used the second, epi uh, second half of the episode to, uh, go through all of the message messages in a bottle. It was great. It was fun. It was very different. It allowed us to see a part of the game that we never get to see, and that is underwater. We never go underwater. Why would you go underwater? There's nothing there, but in fact, there is. There is stuff there. Um, one of the things I pointed out before the episode had ended was uh, this over here. I was like, man, isn't this cool? This is crazy. Look at all this cool stuff. It's neat. And it is neat. Um, am I allowed to just take this? Because this is like power armor. I'll never understand why the Institute didn't just leave us alone. We sure showed those Institute bastards, didn't we, General? We sure did. Just gonna take this off your hands. I'm the General. Alright, so the, the reason I came back to this area is that uh, one of the places that people had asked me to check out was uh, Natick. Na Natick. Natick. I, I, <laughs> I wasn't sure how to pronounce it, because uh, it looks like Natick, but everyone, you know, it, with with the Boston accents and dialects, it could be like, uh, you know, Natick. I don't know. But it is, in fact, Natick. So what we're going to do is uh, we're actually going to head south from here. And if we look on the map, you can see where we are. This is all the Fort Hagen stuff. Down here is Natick. So we're just going to walk south, basically. And uh, there's a... There's a fence up here, but I think I can come up this way and just walk south. We're basically continuing our exploration of everything, because there's still things to see here and there. And, um, we're trying to get all the little exploration parts done, hopefully finding all of the, um, magazines, if nothing else, before we move over to Nuka World. Little bridge here. A little bridge with a little grate. There's a uh, some sort of shack up there. That's interesting. Let's uh, let's use the stork. The uh, the other thing we're gonna do, we're still working towards uh, maxing out our handgun abilities. But I mention that because we're gonna be switching up a lot of our arsenal um, just for fun when we go off to Nuka World. Nobody here. Not only is there nobody here, there's not any supplies here. Just a little unusual, but sure. Whatever. There's no, uh, there's no leg armor on this... ...on this power armor, so hopefully they won't shoot me in the legs. So, these locations down here we've been to before, but, um... I was just told that there was some stuff in Natick that we should see, so... Uh, I figured out what the heck. We'll come back down here and make sure that we've seen everything that we need to, uh... ...to witness. Now, this first thing, if I'm not mistaken, that's... Yeah, that's the Poseidon Reservoir. And that is... Why does that seem familiar? The Poseidon Reservoir, isn't that one of the things that we did, like, real, real early in the game? I think so. Some Feral Ghoul Stalkers down here. It's not marked as cleared, but... I think... When you start the game, I'm, I'm gonna... Pretty sure this is right. No, I'm thinking of Weston Water Treatment Plant. I was gonna say it's across from Overland Station. No. Alright, this place does not sound familiar. Um, but, again, there's probably a good chance that we've been here because we've... We've been everywhere, man. We've done everything. I'll pop in and see if it looks familiar. Poseidon Reservoir was, um... Some legendary ghouls in here. Poseidon Reservoir wasn't something that was on people's lists for me to check out. Um, I presume that, uh, that I've seen it, to be honest. But, uh, it's, it's hard for me to always, you know, remember exactly every little thing I've done, especially in a game this big. So sometimes popping in can help me, uh, just recall... Oh wow, Braxa Cleaner! Uh, quickly recall if I've been here before or not. Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to get a... Oh! I know, I think. I think I know. Is this the place that had, like, the basement? Maybe this is the place. There's like, a, it's like, it had the basement full of the Mirelurks and everything. 
That might be what this place is. Although, no. Hold on. I think that was on the little narrow strip out here, wasn't it? That was the... Oh, yeah, that was Poseidon Energy. That's what I'm thinking of. Hmm. What the piss... What the piss is Poseidon Reservoir? See, now I'm starting to wonder, wait, have we been here before? Because the places I, I thought this might have been... Now I'm like, well, I don't know if we've been here before or not. Now, some of you might know immediately, like, No, Steven, you did this in episode 192 or something. And if so, I apologize. Um, but, you know, at, at the risk of having a place that I may not have explored, I'm gonna take a quick peek in here and see if it, uh, if it comes back to me. Because one of the problems is that sometimes I'm walking around and I walk by something and it marks it as, you know, discovered, even though... Oh, hi. Uh, even though I, you know, I never go in and actually see it. So that's, that's, that's my one worry about things like this. So I'm gonna check this terminal, see if any of this comes back to me. Bring your kids to work day. Reminder that tomorrow is bring your kids to work day. Although it's against protocol to bring children into the plant, we've decided this year we will allow two children in at a time for a quick tour. If you'd like to participate, there is a sign-up sheet near the front door. We will always we will have chaperones outside to help with those that want the tour but have uh, more than two kids. As always, be safe. Reservoir status. You know, malfunction, of course. Database online. Deleted. For your safety, this database is now property of the Brotherhood of Steel. Security door control, open door. Hmm. Man, this place is not... ringing any bells for me. Not at all. Like, well, I, I mean, it is ringing bells, but every time I thought I knew what it was, I'm like, no, that's this place. That's it. Because I thought it was the Weston Water Treatment Plant, which is where the, um, which is where the robots of Grey Garden tell you to go near the beginning of the game. And then, I thought it was Poseidon Energy. Now, this is still related to Poseidon. But it's not Poseidon Energy. Alright, well, I'm gonna walk around then. Um... Bodies everywhere. Some of them are waking up. Uh, most of them won't get a chance to. Just stay down. Makes it easier. Huh. Alright. <laughs> Viable blood sample. Oh, boy! I mean, this is definitely not going to be a hard... Boy! Where'd you come from, buddy? Camera's going crazy trying to get a good look at your bum. Stupid little guy. There's even more... Oh, legendaries. Sure. And then the one behind. Bang! Bang! Before he hits me, boom! He's down! I'm literally making a pile of bodies. I'm fine with this. That would be okay. Alright, what you got? Uh, lucky 10 millimeter, mil millimeter pistol. That's not a terrible, terrible, uh, thing. I mean, I don't need it, but... In the realm of... In the realm of bad items, that one's definitely not as bad as it, uh, as it could be. What was I looking at that was gonna give me... Oh, there we go. Sure. Okay, uh, da 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 da, da. Toolcase. Electromagnetic cartridges. Alright, I'm gonna keep walking around here, then. Uh, nope. Exploded all over the place. Holy crap. I'm still hearing explosions. Well, hopefully if there were any guys in here, it killed them. Stingwing barb, 10 millimeter rounds. Or 10, 38 millimeter rounds, rather. Cans and water. Hmm. See, we went that way. Let's just walk uh, down here. I, I, the, from the outside, it looks big. But it might not be that big. You're very dead, aren't you? This is the door we opened. Huh. Yeah, this is super weird. A lot of the, um, you know, a lot of the, lo the locations, you know, definitely give you deja vu. Certainly. So it's it's really hard because it's like, well, you know, have I been here? Have I not been here? I don't know. Then sure a hit. Bullet cam. Seems like it hurt your neck. Got him. 
Okay, don't don't bother shooting. He's behind the thing. <laughs> Sayonara, guy! Boom! God, the gun looks so tiny in my giant hand. Anyone else around? Anyone else down there? I suppose not. Got a few things here and there. I mean, if I truly... That's the thing, if I truly have never been in... This doesn't look familiar at all. I don't think I've ever been in here. I feel real confident at this point saying I've never been here. This does not seem even vaguely familiar. Um, so, that's good. That means that if this place is as big as it looks on the outside, there's probably some lore and stuff that I've missed in here. Possibly even a magazine. We're down to just a few. Two? Got it. Maybe two. Uh, don't need any of this junk. But I'll take the stim packs, of course. Nothing back around here. I'm just kind of curious how far this go- like, what- How big is this place? Because it's starting- I'm starting to get worried because it looks like this might be it. Like, there was that safe. Which, that- there's probably a key because it's a master level. There's a key in another part that probably opens that. That would be my guess. We also kind of went in the back door. So maybe there's an entire front section. Just- <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm foretelling the future here, because I've played so much of this game that I kind of know how they do things. We went in a back door. There's a front section where you get a key that opens that master level safe. And, uh, we already did that, so now there's probably not much else to this. And again, I walked up here and I didn't see anything, right? This doesn't go any other secret directions. It's just a single catwalk. Okay. <laughs> if you say so, there's, um, there's also this toolbox. Probably got a few random things in. Oh, wow. Poseidon Reservoir safe key. Interesting. Very interesting. I did not expect the key to be up here. Huh. Well, that kind of puts a, kind of puts a wrench in my plans. Um, I was thinking that, you know, because of that, the, uh, you know, there, there would be a, a, a front part of this building, but now I'm not sure. I now say with certainty that we have never been in there. That, uh, that is a place we absolutely have never been. Also, level up. Yeah! Go ahead and give me that. We've been working towards... Gunslinger. Bam. It's maxed out. Non-automatic pistols now do double damage. Their attacks have a much better chance to disarm opponents and may even cripple a limb. So that means we have Gunslinger maxed out, we have Commando maxed out, we have uh, Rifleman maxed out. Uh, obviously, we don't, we don't use melee. Um, and we don't have Heavy Gunner, because we don't really use heavy guns. It's a shame, because I actually would like that, but now working towards that seems like an impossible goal. Especially since there's other stuff I'd still like to do. Alright, um... There could still possibly be a front to this place? Maybe? Maybe that was the front? I don't know. Ah, you died! Poisoner's fat man? <laughs> wow. I'm pretty sure being poisoned would be the least of your worries, man. Where's the other guy? Come on! Come on, sweetheart! You're dead. That is funny. That is very funny to me. A poisoner's fat man. Let's go up on the roof and see if there's anything up here. Maybe that was the front. Maybe it's just a really small location. Either way, um, I have never been in there. That is that is absolutely a place I walked past. It got marked, and that was it. Now is it marked as? See, now it's marked as cleared. Okay. That's the, the confusing part about Fallout is that not every location will tell you if it's cleared or not, and that's a little upsetting. But whatever. Gotcha. Got you too. All right, gotta reload. Uh, let's cover the head. Bye. <laughs> he was about to hit me, but then he experienced the cold, sweet embrace of death. Uh, and he was carrying an eight ball. Not the first time they've carried an eight ball either. Anybody in here? Or did I wake everyone up? I think I woke everybody up. This is a door that goes even further up. We'll check up there in a minute. 
if there's anything else here. Looks kind of stripped bare, unless you're really into knitting. If you're into knitting, Poseidon Water is the place for you. You can get all of the yarn you need. Knit, knit, knit! You walk over this way and see if there's something... ...here. No. Huh. Now I'm, like, super curious. I'm like, well, if this... if this area got... ...you know, seen, but I didn't go into it, then the other areas around here may be the same way. I may have just kind of waltzed through this area... ...without doing any real exploration. That's the sort of thing that, uh... ...I want to know, because I'm trying to see all this stuff. There's a little ammo in there. Okie doke. Yeah, I took this, uh, I took this armor for my collection. I'm gonna have to drop it off, maybe between episodes, because as much as I like the armor... ...it really slows you down, and if I'm not in my armor, then it's- there's no point, really. I don't need the defense, and my armor has the jetpack. This one does not. There's nothing up here. Okay. Yeah, I saw the front side. That's- that was definitely the front, so I saw the entire thing. And it's marked as cleared, so I must have, uh... I must have done it. Alright, um, well, there is one good thing about armor. Quick exit. Uh, so now... This looks like an unmarked location, so I've almost certainly never been here either. All these fun places! Oh, the places you'll go! Oh, the ghouls you will shoot! You figure out how to get to me? Good one! More guys to shoot in here? I don't see them. Here's a wicked uh, shipping container, but this one's already been ripped open, so it doesn't do me any good. These people decided to drink and play some checkers... ...until death finally took them. Hmm. Let me see what's this way. Eh, nothing... nothing of real importance. I'm gonna check this warehouse, though. This must have been related to, uh, Poseidon Water. Well, it's kind of hard to... ...fit in here. Uh, hmm. <laughs> A single cigarette! I mean, this is all just garbage. Wait a minute. That's interesting. Can you... Oh. Oh. What... What have we here? A robot model kit part? Yeah, build that thing. Aw. Got the little sentry bar, the bottle cap mine. Interesting. I mean, not, nothing that's like terribly, terribly helpful. But still a little bit of, uh, a little bit of fun exploration. I thought maybe, I was kind of hoping, that that was gonna take us back into a secret way in, um... ...into Poseidon Water. Uh, it was not meant to be, unfortunately, but still. Something else to see. Is there seriously just one ghoul patrolling this area? I find that a little unusual. We'll check upstairs and then we'll be on our way. I don't think where we currently are counts as Natick. Um... I think that's a little bit further south. God! But, we're certainly getting there. Oh, there's a door! Wonderful. Alright, let's head uh, a little further up this road. This is where things... ...were. You know what? I- I have been here. Raider Waster, Raider Survivalists... Now that is a problem. That is... ...a problem. Because that is a missile launcher, and that's going to cause me some issues. I wish I had uh, a different weapon equipped. I currently don't. So I'm just trying to make sure he's dead. I don't want that to be a problem for me. Good. And I can build up my uh, my crit again. Hold on. I have a uh, I have a whole lot of uh, <laughs> a whole lot of these grenades. I really need to use them. Could you guys hold them for me? Would that be all right? Yeah, just- I'm gonna throw some grenades your way. You guys tell me if they work. Do these work? Because I- it, I'm pretty sure that they're still functional, but I just wanted to make sure... 
by throwing them at your face. You just let me know, just give me like a yes or a no. That would be good. Are they are they still working okay? It sounds it sounds like they're doing their job pretty well. But I'm not here. Just a few more will do it, right? Got them. Is there another guy around? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I've been here before. Um, I remember stopping at this place once before. I don't think there was anything of value here. And if there was, I already got it. Because I remember... <laughs> I remember there being a guy up here with a missile launcher in the past. Now, and it caused me some grief. But yeah, I definitely skipped Poseidon Water. But hey, now it's done. Now I did it. I went in there. And uh, I'm almost positive. This place just keeps refilling, but... um. I've explored this before. I don't think there's anything of value here. There is this power armor, which counts as stealing to take. And it's kind of bad because I'm already in power armor. Otherwise, I otherwise I would take it. But whatever. I don't. I have plenty of uh, frames as it is. Oh my God! I know where we are. Also, crap. This is where all of the Death claws are. There's death claws that continually respawn in this area. They like continually respawn in the area and in the hills and all this junk. Oh, good. Good. Ow. Listen, dirtbag. I don't have time for your bullcrap. What? Listen. I'm gonna blow you up, but I can't be too close. You dead now? Gotcha. A furious revolutionary sword. No wonder he was so mad. He swallowed a sword. Pretty sure that dogs aren't supposed to do that. But the removal of your head will probably make it easier to get it out. Hmm. Yeah, this... I, I feel like... I feel almost certain that it's not like a one-time thing. I think the death claws just keep coming. So that's exciting. Um, That's what Natick is. Natick is the land you go to die. Awesome. I've also been here before. I, I was here with... Mm, someone. Nick Valentine? Maybe? Oh, was it further up? Hold on. I think there was a third floor. There was! There was a third... Flo... Flo... Well, you know what? It's not important, because I've been here before. So, I was asked to come to Natick. Take a look around Natick. Um, there might have been a few things here that I didn't, like, fully explore. But, uh, I feel like I... I might have seen... Yeah, you can see one right there. You see its tail? Yeah, they just always spawn here. Stop right there! Yeah, I tried. <laughs> yeah, okay, dang. Yeah, I wasn't wrong. Um, and I think there's more, too. I, I don't think it's just the one. Getting a level 22 is fine. Getting a, a higher level could be a problem. Hmm. Now, the person who suggested Natick also may not have seen the episodes where I was up here, because I remember being up here... ...and seeing all this stuff. But again, there might be something I missed. I don't remember exploring every single little thing, and there's also a possibility that I may have been a little freaked out by the presence of the Death Claws. That I was like, nah, I'm good, and uh, got, got out of there. Can I...? Okay, I need to, uh, need to go up here to get to those things. I don't remember this. But all, also, all of these things refill after a time. I'm not really sure what the, uh, in-world explanation for such a thing is. I'm guessing, like, maybe someone else came along and used it for a while, and that's why it has stuff in it, but then they died, so... <laughs> that's why they're gone. And there's more stuff, just for you. I also don't know if there's any actual super mutants here. Like, there's the presence of them shown, right? But I think the idea is that, like, they were here... ...and then they're gone now because, like, the Death Claws ate them or something. I'm not sure if that's the exact reason, but I think that's what's intended for, for you to feel. I don't know if I've been in this church. 
Maybe? Again, I don't actually see any, um, super mutants. There doesn't seem to be any ones actually here. But I'm- I'm- I'm in my power armor, so even if I get up to the roof, I can still jump down, and... While I'm up there, I should be able to get a good view... ...of Natick and see if there's anything that I, uh, may have missed. Cause right now, I'm feeling like, no, I, uh, think I- I picked this place clean last time I was here. I'm still glad I came this way, because I would have never seen Poseidon... ...water. But, uh... Otherwise, it's looking pretty good. Is this a bag? Yeah, there's a few things in here. Let's check out this, uh, red rocket. While we're in the area. Help defend the checkpoint. What? What are you, what are you talking about? Okay, so this might be why we were supposed to come this way. There's something new and interesting. Hi, buddy. The crap is this? Rad Scorpion Predator. Minuteman. Um... This is probably a bad thing, because it'll kill the Minuteman. I'd probably want this. Hi, buddy. What's the... ...sensitive part... ...of yours? Your face? Your face! Gotta reload! Bang! Give me a sec. Yeah, that's right. Stay on me. Stay on me, boys. Someone throwing a Molotov at me? Stay on me! Stay on me! Attack me, boys! I'm the one you want! Is there another one? A rad sta The Rad Stag's mad! Shut up and die! What, because I was shooting in your general direction? Let's do this. Oh my god. Kill that thing, Dad. So th this was weird. Does this just start happening now? Nothing new to report, General. Who's in charge here? They're gonna have to pry this checkpoint from my cold, dead hands. Weird. The area secure, General. This site belongs to the Minutemen. All quiet, General. Strange. Huh. I didn't... I did not mean to take that beer bottle. Is there another piece of... My God! Are you... There's so many... I'm running into so much power armor today. This is unreal. I don't... And it's X01, dude. That's good. It's better than what I even have. Uh, what is this? This is like T60? I mean, this is a more complete set. But, like, jeez, man, there's just... I'm impressed. I'm impressed I'm finding so much. This is just sitting here. I'm guessing this checkpoint... ...is normally not held by the Minutemen, and it's just a random event that happens? Or maybe these just start happening now? I don't know. There's there's could be a lot of new events that happen now that we've beaten the game. It was just a little unusual. All of a sudden, it's like, hey, go do this. And I'm like, oh. There's a thing to do. It's not a good hiding spot. Got it. Alright, so now that I've, uh... I've wandered down this way, we're gonna go back to the, um... I'm gonna go back to the red rocket here. And, uh, take a look and see if there was anything over here that I hadn't seen. But again, I feel like I have explored Natick. I feel like I have been over this way. Hadn't seen Poseidon Water, but otherwise... ...this all seems pretty familiar. There's a Wakemaster alarm clock. At some point, we'll have to go check in with, uh... ...Sean again. Because he'll want, like, some new thing. So it'll be our job to, you know, try and get that for him. What are the, uh, actual locations that are on the map? The bank... ...and the police department. Okay. I'm gonna go up the hill here. Is this... This is where I found that kid's thing. And up here is a warehouse. And some other stuff. I... 
I just have this feeling, man. Yep, I'm not insane. I am not insane. There are death claws in this area. Well, at least I know it wasn't in my head. So, you guys know that if you want to explore this area in your own games, just be prepared for what you're going to run into. Um, you know, I thought that maybe it was inhabited by death claws, and I was right. It's not a one-time thing, it's every time you're here. I vaguely recall a situation where I, I had pacified a death claw and was like having him do all this stuff for me. Doesn't seem to be anything up here. I'm just gonna wander kind of closer to the edge of the map. It was definitely here before, but it's uh, you know, it's it's late game. Hey! Oh, an alpha death claw, that's cute. Very cute. You're also very dead. There's another one. Dear God, how many have we killed? Four or five? They're all over the place up here. Yeah, I've I've been here. Alright. Okay, well, I mean, at least I checked it out. Um I'm gonna assume that the person that gave us that uh that tip just had not seen the episode where I was here. See, that's that's what makes the most sense to me. Oh, interestingly enough, whenever I warped over here, there is actually an undiscovered location. Huh. Okay, that's cool. I I don't know how I didn't notice that before, but yeah, there's, uh... I'm not sure where, they, where exactly it is. Worst case scenario, I have to abandon this armor. Um... Looks like it's out this way. bum ba da dum ba da dum ba dum ba dum bum Lake co Coach its way. Oh, so that I that was it. It was just get into the lake and you've discovered it. Okay. Sure. I mean, is there anything cool or interesting that's you know exclusively here at the lake? I'm assuming we can't get up into that. A lot of the buildings have kind of collapsed into the lake. And there's some dead people in here. A few odds and ends, but nothing of real value that I can see. Also looks extremely easy to get stuck here. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Come in for a fresh coffee, and also maybe fall. <laughs> hmm. There could be. <sighs> oh God! <laughs> There's so many little details everywhere. Like there's a shack over there, but. Probably nothing of interest. There's... Yeah, just mire lurks. In fact, I think I might have been there once before. There's some houses. Did I shoot that guy? That guy is too far to shoot. Not too far to see, but too far to shoot. You know what? I'll bite. I'll, um... <laughs> I'll I'm gonna go over there. There I come! Oh god, no I don't. Oh, I'm falling back again. Ugh! Woo! Is this... Does this place belong to this crab? Hey buddy, is this your house? Oh god, are these your friends? Jesus, got him. More? Is that it? Okay, sometimes, um, sometimes in the game, whenever it gives you, uh, like a body of water like this lake, it's really, you know, a, a quick place to come to see all of this stuff. This person, did they take baths on the dock, or did they have this here in case they wanted to very quickly kill themselves? I'm not sure. Looks like someone at some point was living here. But it's, uh, been overrun by crabs. Oh, wow. Sure, dang, there's a ton of stuff in here. Oh, and another robot model! Hooray! We're collecting all the beautiful little robot models. Alright, and then there's a house over here that's got someone there. A raider or something. I saw them from far away with the scope. Hey, buddy, I just want to let you know I come in peace. We don't have to have any problems. So then I'm, I'm, I'm moving in next door. 
Somehow I don't think he's gonna go for it. Uh, uh, uh. They're almost never alone. Anybody else here? Oh my god, is he actually alone? He might be! Hey. Or not! It's me! I'll shoot you in the leg! Oh! God. That would suck. You're standing there, you don't know exactly what's going on, all of a sudden you're just... Oh, you're so cute! Oh, I can't even kill you. I'm sorry, just- can you just go- I can't pacify animals, unfortunately, otherwise I'd pacify- Ah, oh, darn it. Yeah, I'm sorry. it's- it's really nothing personal. I'll take that bandana, though. That's cool. Hmm. Duct tape. Yeah, not a whole lot here, but I, um, I feel pretty confident saying that I've never been on this side of the, uh, the lake here. This is a little different. A little unusual. I'm assuming that that marker for the lake is just so you can, you know, hit up these houses and see all of this stuff. And probably what's covered for that marker is probably a great deal. So there's probably quite a bit that you can, uh... That you can, like, step into and it'll still count. Oh, this is very collapsed. Oh, there's some stuff I can grab there. Alright, well, I didn't want to see that room anyway. Forget that room. That's the kind of thing that you need the jetpack for. But again, is there anything actually- oh wait, no you don't. <laughs> this is gonna be a little difficult, but not impossible. That's better. You might be saying, Steven, did you- did you go get your own power armor? Yes. Yes, I did. Because I spent an embarrassingly long amount of time trying to get up here by jumping up that- that tree. Not intended for that, by the way. It is not- the tree is not there for you to climb, it is too slippery to climb. And then I was like, I'm spending a lot of time, I'll just go get my own power armor. So I did, and I do not regret it at all. Um, because now... I can just... <laughs> yeah, after you start your falling... Uh, animation, it's kind of hard to... Stop it. There we go. Because I had not checked over here in this first house either, so now I can take a look here. There doesn't seem to be anything up here, but at least now I can say that I checked it. Uh, the other thing that I noticed I thought was interesting is that, um, when I look at my map now... Let me make sure there was nothing in the... Yeah, there's n <laughs> There ain't nothing in there. Uh, when I look at my map now, the lake is marked as cleared. Just find that kind of unusual. Um, I am going to, uh, I'm gonna continue... I'm gonna continue going. This episode, I don't want to say is kind of a, a boring episode, but because we ended up having already seen Natick, um, not a whole lot happened. So I'm gonna continue pushing south and seeing if uh, we see anything additional. Um, may not be the most exciting episode in the world, but um, at least I'll extend it a little bit to ensure that uh, next episode when we start, it'll be something a little bit different. I'm taking a look at all of these little things around. There's the, uh, the interchange up there. Mass Pike Interchange. Getting close to the, uh, God, it's so stinking... ...foggy. So I wonder if we can see anything at all. Yeah, the Mass Fusion Disposal Site. Now, we've never checked this out. This is, this is one that we definitely have never seen, because whenever we, uh, came across it the first time, I was worried that... It would somehow, you know, break something, spoil something in the game, or something like that. So I just never bothered. You gotta be careful, because there could be a suicider here. Just kind of blind firing over there, because I know that they're in that direction. There's almost always at least one suicider with the super mutants. And this, uh, this fog is not helping, because it makes, <laughs> it makes them impossible to see. Gotcha. Seem to be three of you remaining. This is actually... I didn't even think about it. This is actually really good because of all of the radiation. Having the suit will help. 
I know you're over there somewhere. I can't see you very good. I can barely make out your, uh, silhouettes moving in the shadows. Gotcha, there's a- there he is. Did I get him? Oh, I think I was shooting at, like, a barrel. <sighs> he is not a barrel. Gotcha. So... We walked over here long enough to, um, to see this place, but I thought it was connected to... I thought- I mean, I thought that it was connected to, um... The Mass Fusion building. I mean, it technically is. This is their disposal site. But, um... You know, I was worried about that. I was like, oh no, this is gonna spoil something, so I b better stay away from it. In fact, it's just a, uh, fairly normal location. It has nothing to do with, uh... Anything else. But again, these are the types of places that sometimes you'll come across, like, a magazine or something, so I was a little hopeful. I'll probably end up just having to look up where the other magazines are. Careful. There we go. Um, hmm. Make sure I didn't miss anything here. And also, hopefully, the fog will clear. Because it's really, it's really hard to see. Alright, got this stuff. Checked you. Maybe, maybe that's it. They were basically- they're just hauling this stuff in here. I can just stand on top of it, it doesn't mean anything to me, I'm in this armor. Um... Hmm. Cool. Yeah, I- I had forgotten that I hadn't actually looked here. I- I got close enough to see that there was... ...that it was Mass Fusion, and I was like, No, Mass Fusion! No, no, no. Uh, okay, so let's... Electrical Hobbyist Club? What the... What the piss is that?! Electrical Hobbyist Club? What? The oh, that does not sound familiar at all. Weird? Alright, um... Let's head that direction as well. Maybe that's another place that we've never seen. You know, the next game... Next big game I play... Next Bethesda game, I guess. If I stumble across something, I'm stopping everything and exploring it right then and there. Otherwise, I'll never know if I've, uh, if I've done something or not. Because the electrical... Oh, I remember what this was! There was like, it was like, uh, tr um, laser trip mines and everything. This place was crazy. I wonder if they re those things respawned. Uh, you can still see, kind of see them in there. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Okay, yeah, I have, I have seen that. Uh, I'm gonna walk a little bit further south. And you can kind of see where I'm leading into. It's, uh, we're, we're leading into the Glowing Sea, because there's quite a bit of stuff that we haven't seen there. And I'm get basically getting that set up for... ...you know, our next episode. I'm just a little upset that it's so freaking ...foggy. Let's head down this road? And this kind of splits a little bit. I'm not really sure if there's anything of interest even over here. Oh, scavenger. This doesn't always go so well. Sometimes they think I'm an enemy when I just really just want to chat. Good scavenging and busted robots, if you know what you're doing. Okay, so good. That guy didn't want to. Yeah, I've run across people before, and they're like, they want to throw down, and I'm like, I don't want to throw down. I don't. Wanna I don't want to kill you. Um, also, I somehow took the wrong road that I was trying to take. But there's no un- there's no, um... There's no undiscovered location showing up, so anything I found would just be an unmarked thing. But, uh, I don't think there's anything over here anyway. I think we're set. This just leads out into... Is this the... Yeah, right here. Either one of these directions is fine. Just roads that lead to and basically nothing. Oh, there's a little house here. Oh hi! Could we be friends? I'm guessing not. Alright, well. Where the shot. Is this where you live? That's cool. I can see that you guys killed the settlers here. That's cool. I'm gonna take their stuff since everybody's dead now. 
<laughs> Makes the most sense to me. Alright, um, so this episode's already terribly long, um... And, uh, we didn't- we didn't discover a whole lot of new stuff. Um, but we did go through and ensure that we had seen... ...some things. Natick is absolutely... We've- we've been there, we've seen everything. We- we got the t-shirt. Uh, next episode, because we are, you know, here, we're- we're gonna head into the Glowing Sea. Um, it's, it looks like we've done a lot, but there's still a lot of other things, and ultimately we're gonna try to get to that abandoned shack and see what that's all about. That will be happening next episode. So thank you so much for watching. I know this one was definitely kind of a weird one, uh, but at least we saw Poseidon water. You know, that, that was something that we had not seen before. Next episode, we'll at least get to the abandoned shack. See you guys next time for more Stephen Plays, Fallout 4.